Today we're going to talk about motivation and token systems and what can go wrong when using them. A well-defined, thought-out motivational system can change your world, but if not used appropriately, a token economy system can be less effective and absolutely more frustrating for both you and your child. I bet right now you're thinking, wait, that's not so amazing. I've tried this before. Or please, not another token system. We've done this before. It didn't work. Most often when people tell me that token systems aren't working for their family, we dive in to see why they're not working. One of the very first things we find is that they're not providing backup reinforcers. Motivation systems are effective because they signal to your child that reinforcement is coming. If it never comes, then there's no reason to earn the tokens. A simple way to think about this is if I was to pay you a paycheck on a regular basis and you were working hard to earn that paycheck and yet you couldn't do anything with the money that I paid you, you would no longer be motivated to continue to work. Tokens are the same concept. I have to be motivated to earn them, but in order to be motivated to earn them, they have to turn into something. So the tokens that your child is earning is designated to signal that something reinforcing is coming. Make sure that your child is earning a strong reinforcer that they have helped choose and are motivated to earn. Another common mistake that I run into is that parents will weaponize these tokens by not clearly defining de desired behaviors or responses in which you're looking for to determine how they're going to earn those tokens. Then the tokens are used more as a bribe, like, oh, if you stop this, then I'll give you a token. That's not the way we want to use tokens to change behavior. To set your child up for success, what we want to do is ensure that they know what they're expected to do and that they're capable of achieving those tokens and rewards. You need a well-defined menu so that your child knows what they're working for and how many of these tokens they need to earn to gain this reinforcer. With the kids here I have in the classroom, I have set up a mystery prize with a mystery amount of tokens. But before we did that, we had to establish trust and a clear pattern of earning rewards based on tokens before we enabled that. And I let them know that it's going to be a high number. We set times to check in about that number, and then the mystery number becomes known. The kids also have a chance to continue to earn that number in order to earn the prize. It helps keep our kids a little motivated right now, but I wouldn't suggest starting that right away. You want to make sure that you're using the correct number of tokens as well. You want to make sure that the number of tokens compared to what they're buying matches their effort. Otherwise, they will lose interest and stop responding to the reinforcement. Another mistake to avoid is the removing or threat to remove tokens. This process actually has a name. It's called cost response, and it is a punishment procedure. With some kids, it can be an effective tool, but more often I see it causing more frustration and increasing problem behavior. Once your child becomes an effective learner, we can talk about adding a punishment component. In other words, we don't take away tokens willy-nilly. Oftentimes, if you're not seeing an increase in desired behaviors or responding, we need to increase the reinforcement, not the punishment. Try to decrease the number of tokens necessary to earn the reward or increase the amount of tokens that you're giving at the time. You want to make sure that your child is meeting reinforcement and understands how to meet those reinforcement needs before considering a cost response. In summary, a token economy is a super efficient tool when used correctly and can make home life a whole lot more fun and exciting. You can use custom token boards or decide what tokens are going to be or what they're going to look like. You could use money, you can use fake money, you can use marbles. You can use just about anything. You can use something that your child is interested in and that will make it much more motivating to earn. Just be sure that when you start your motivation or token economy that you make sure that you don't make the mistakes we just talked about. 
Up next, we're going to talk about how to make a motivational system similar to the one that is working for your child.